Hey guys, so this is a bit different type of video than I normally make, but I had an interesting idea that I think is pretty exciting that I wanted to share with you. Whenever a new set comes out and we start seeing spoilers, we get really excited and we want to know what the format's going to look like, what cards are going to be good, what cards are going to be bad, and we, we just want to know how to basically evaluate each card in the context of the format that we're playing in. And so to do this, typically we use uh, set reviews by professionals who kind of give a subjective rating to each of the cards and how good they think it's going to be. And while these are pretty helpful, again, it's subjective. There's no quantitative flair to their analysis. Um, it's just based on my experience, I think this card is good, which again, has a bunch of use, but oftentimes they can be wrong and they can run into surprises and it doesn't give us like a greater understanding of what the format's actually going to look like. So to kind of give us this quantitative um, understanding of cards in the context of the format. I'm proposing we upload our draft decks, uh, the full deck lists with our win records and any other data that we decide is important so that anyone who wants to use this data to do analytics, train predictive models can do so very easily. And so if we get enough people uploading their deck lists of this type, we can start doing large scale data analytics on like win rate breakdown by card. So which cards are winning the most, which cards are winning the least, which converted mana cost creatures are winning. We can tell from that, we can tell how fast the format is. So for example, if one drops are winning a lot, then we know the format is a lot faster. If one drops and two drops are pretty poor, then we know the format's a bit slower. And so from all this data, we can then start doing even cooler things like predictive models. So we have one set. We know what all the cards in that set are like. Um, we can feed this set to some type of learning agent like an artificial neural network um, and teach it how to evaluate a set's overall power level and what cards are good in that set. And then when we come to new sets, um, we can use this trained model to do a pre-evaluation on what cards are going to be good in the upcoming format. And these are just a few examples. Um, pretty much once we get the data, It'll be community open source, so if anyone has cool ideas on what they would like to do with the data, it's totally up to them and they can do that and release it to the public. But I think I just want to get this project started and see where we can go with it. I think it's going to be really exciting. I should say that I personally plan on using this data to make my own predictive models and train artificial neural networks to then predict sets in the future. All of this code will be completely open source, available to anyone to use or see, and I'm going to make videos based on the analysis that I draw from the data for you guys to look at with pretty pictures and plots and stuff like that. So at the very least, you'll have that, but I'm sure other people who are even better at this type of stuff than I am um, can do even cooler stuff. And if we work together on this project, we can make it really awesome. So here's the GitHub page. It's going to be github.com slash Caleb Gannon slash MTG data. There'll be a link in the description, so you can just click on that. Um, but here's effectively what I've set up and what I'm going to continue building upon. So the README, uh, this thing is MTG data. It's just a place to collect and store community data about any MTG format. So I'm starting with draft because that's what I play. But I don't see any reason why we couldn't do this for other constructed formats. So if you want to find out exactly how to fine tune a standard deck, uh, maybe something like this could help. Again, this is kind of... I'm just kind of setting something up and letting it go to the community and we can see what it turns into. Um, so I have, I'm have i going to show an example of how you upload data and stuff, but I just have one that I've uploaded thus far. Um, so you, you know, your sealed deck example, this is kind of the type of data that we could be working with on a large scale. So here's a sealed deck I made. If you saw my video, you would know what this deck is. But basically we have all the cards in our deck and in our sideboard as well. The quantity of cards, uh, we can break it down by rarity. And then I also added match wins and losses, game wins, and the date it was drafted. And so from these text card names, like Leon and War Leader, uh, we can look up what that card is, what it does, its power and toughness, its converted mana cost, what color it is, and we can get pretty much as much information about the type of deck that was played and its win ratio. And from there, you know, Sky's the limit is as far as what we, what we can do with this amount of data. 
And for those of you who are familiar with statistics, you know that if we are going to be confident in the results we're drawing from this data, we're going to need a lot of it. So kind of as a community, the more we put into it, the more we can all get out of it. So it's kind of, this is kind of like a call to action for all of you. If you want to use something like this, and if you want to be part of something cool where we can, you know, get exact evaluations on how good a card is in a given format, it's kind of up to you guys to also take part and upload your deck lists and tell your friends to do the same so we can get the max benefit out of this. So for those who are interested in doing this and helping out with this, um, I'm going to show you right now how to do that. All right, so what you're going to do is, um, right now M19 Sealed League is out, but you can do the same thing for Draft. And what you're going to do is you're going to come to the, the League page. You have to do this before you start the next League because it deletes your deck. So you go down to Edit Deck. Um, then you're going to right-click and hit Add Export to Collection. Um, you can name your deck whatever you would like, um, put it wherever in your collection you want, and hit Save Deck. So that created a Magic Online deck. So if you go over to your collection under whatever subsection you would like, so I just created this one. Um, it's this deck here is what we have. And so now you're going to right-click, hit Export. Uh, this window is going to pop up somewhere, wherever you want to export it. So I've created my own... Uh, place to send it on my computer. So like MTG decks, M19 sealed. Title it whatever you want. We're gonna just gonna call this one like M19 sealed one. Don't put any like special characters and save it as a CSV format. So there's there's a lot of these, but we'll use this as an example. And so now you have an Excel file. So documents, MTG decks, M19 sealed, M19 sealed sealed one. So here's pretty much what you're going to open, uh, what your deck's going to look like. So it's kind of cool. You have, this is your main deck over here, and then all your sideboarded cards are down there. Um, but we need a bit more information. So I'm going to pull up uh, a sample file I made previously. And so basically all you have to do is add your match wins, match losses. So like, let's say in the competitive seal league, you play five rounds. So if you won three and lost two of those rounds, you would put these here. And then we'll break it down by number of game wins as well and number of game losses. So in each match, you play best of three. So if you went two and one, that would be two wins, one loss, you get it. And then the date that this data was taken. And we'll just say the date that the format ended because I know a lot of people um, start tournaments and then end them much later. So just whatever date you actually made this file, uh, just do that. And then you can save your file, just going into save, whatever. And then you're going to go to GitHub. So I posted a link to it um, in this video description. So check that. But it's, yeah, github.com, Caleb Gannon, MTG data is the main one. So there's a readme you can read if you want to. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to come up to whatever folder uh, has the format that you're uploading. So right now I'm doing sealed because draft has not been released yet. But... When draft comes out, there should be a folder there for you to upload a draft. If not, you can create one, but it should be there. Um, so we're doing sealed. So you're going to click on M19 sealed. Um, then what you're going to do is you're actually going to click fork up in the top right. And what this does is it creates a local copy of the repository so that you can modify it and then send those modifications back to me. So you forked it and now you're going to go back into the folder and upload files. And so you're going to find, and let me go back through my documents. Do it over here. So you're going to find the document you're trying to upload. So we'll just do M19 sealed one as an example. So you upload the document, commit the changes. It'll take a little bit of process, like a couple seconds. And so now you go to new pull request. So you, you've created your local repository and the pull request basically says, I'd like to merge this with the overall thing. Basically, it uploads your file in a safer way than just giving everyone access to the whole database because they could just delete stuff. But if you do want access, because I'm going to need help working through this, just get in contact with me on uh, YouTube or my email address, which I'll put up on the screen now. It'll be Caleb Gannon, uh, MTG data at Google or something like that. 
Um, and you can help me sort through all this stuff. Um, but basically now you're going to create a pull request by clicking this button. Uh, you can write whatever comments you want. Uh, you click here to create a pull request. And so now here's your pull request. It's been created. And then once I confirm that everything's okay, um, then I will close the pull request and merge it, and then everything should be fine. So uh, once you're at this point, you get this green check mark. It should be good. If that's too complicated and you would prefer some other method, you can always email it to me at the email I mentioned before, but it's Caleb Gannon MTG data at google.com or at Google. Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen right now. You'll know what it is. Um, and if you'd like to help me again, you can either email me or message me on YouTube or something to be a contributor. So then you can help me confirm all these merge requests.